Today's topic is the most important skill that YouTubers can't teach you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Way Pain. I'm Cal. And I'm Sunny. No, it's not actually clickbait. We are going to tell you the most important skill that you could ever have, and no YouTubers cannot help you with it. So, what is this mystical skill you're talking about? It's brush control. That's it? Just brush control? Let's not understate it. Brush control is the most important skill you can have when it comes to this hobby. The difference between somebody who can paint well and who paints poorly almost always comes down to this one skill. It's true. The difference between getting your eyes right and getting a blotchy eye, it all comes down to brush control. Things like streaky brush strokes, how fat and thin your lines are, how consistent they are. They all all come down to brush control. So if it's a skill that YouTubers can't teach very well, why are we doing this topic in the first place? People need to understand that painting is a physical skill and you can only get better at it through practical application. That's right. Just watching a YouTuber or a painter or a tutorial online isn't going to teach you things like pressure control, how you should flick your brush, how you should hold your brush straight down when you want to create clean lines. These are things that you have to feel to learn, not see to learn. These are lessons that can be taught in real life, but they cannot be taught online because these people can't interact with you. They cannot see you. They cannot work with you. You. When I was teaching students how to paint or even draw a color, sometimes they had a lot of trouble holding their pencils upright or even holding the brush correctly. This all helps with making sure that you get a smooth result on the canvas. And to teach that properly, I had to sometimes hold their hands so that they could feel the pressure of pushing the brush down and flicking it up. How do you control pressure? You can only feel these things. You can only do so much if you're just watching your teacher show you how to do it. The other reason and why we're covering it this is this is probably why you think you're bad at painting. So the way to fix this is to just start painting. Grab a model that you like and start practicing on it. The only way to get better at a physical skill is by actually physically practicing it. So just grab a model and start painting and keep going at it and that will build your muscle memory and as you keep going along you'll start to feel things and you'll feel better ways to hold your brush, better ways to control control your strokes and that's how you get better at brush control. This isn't something that you will know as Sunny said but something that you will feel. One of the biggest differences will be when you gain confidence. Confidence will kill overthinking. The biggest issue with poor brush control is overthinking your strokes. You will be more shaky, you will be less confident and that's how you get streaky lines. But if you're more confident with your strokes, moving much more quickly, swiftly, within one stroke, you get much cleaner lines. It's all about building the skills and the necessary mentalities to make sure you don't overthink when you paint. Sunny comes from a much different background than us. So some of her terminology is couched in that of a traditional painter, but she's not wrong. Overthinking is your biggest enemy. When you're painting and consistently painting, you'll come into a state of flow. And by then you won't be thinking about what you're doing. You'll just be doing it. Painting is like music. You have to get into the rhythm and flow of things to be able to paint well. We promise never to waste your time. So that's all there is for this topic. However, if you could please indulge us after after the outro, we have something that we would like to share with you. And as always, keep, keep those, those brushes, brushes wet. wet. Bye bye. bye.
For long-time listeners, most of you will know that I don't usually sound like a ghoul from Fallout. That's exactly what I was thinking about. <laughs> I'm just calling you Captain Raspy. And it was like, hello oh, there, smooth, smooth skin. skin. Well, the unfortunate present I got for Christmas was sickness and it's not been a good week. I was unable to work this week, which meant that we didn't have income as I work for myself. With YouTube, we don't get a lot from the videos that we make and it's not always very consistent as well. However, we have noticed a undercurrent of a very strong core fan base. People have been giving us great comments telling us that we cover topics in a way that other YouTube tutorials don't. They say that we're very concise and they're very truly appreciative of the videos that we have been putting out. So we are hoping to start YouTube memberships as well as something else. With YouTube membership, we would like to create private videos once a month that is recommended by the viewers. In addition, you'd also have early access to videos and member icons. However, unfortunate as it is, we have enemies in real life. This is why we will not have a Patreon or a Discord. People have already attacked our website and done other things. This is why we can't trust in these platforms due to people reporting and able to get things down quite easily. Yes, exactly. We don't want to e-bag or anything like that. We want to provide value to our viewers and that's why we are looking into platforms like Ko-Fi and My Mini Factory. Why My Mini Factory? Because we follow our own advice. Before we started, start now. We commissioned a 3D sculptor to make 3D prints for our own game. We've got our own role-playing game called Zorville and we would like to have that produced but before we get into that we'd like to build some interest with it with these models. We have many artworks that have already been made for this game and we'd like to convert them into valuable models for you. However that's the long-term plan. The short-term plan is to release the game to you and then release expansions each month. This way we can ask for your support with a clean conscience. Thank you everyone for all of your support that you have given us thus far. We are truly appreciative and we hope to make this a reality with your help. Thank you and we look forward to earning your membership.